I once feared to lose my darkness because my writing used to be so deeply connected to it. Back when my depression was at its peak, the intense sorrow gave me so many deep and emotive words to shape and to mould into the most tragic yet beautiful poems, while my self-hatred gave me the raw energy to fuel my desire to write them all down. So once I faced the prospect of reforming my ways to turn my life into something much better, I was actually afraid that once I stopped hating myself, that if I let go of all the sadness and the pain in order to build myself a new world of hope and positivity, that I would lose all of that energy and see my ability to write anything of worth disappear without a trace, that I would have nothing to draw from and it would be reduced to some shallow, emotionless scribbling that would render my heart completely barren. But the truth is that as I now sit here Looking back at my life, I can see how my misery and my self-hatred were actually holding me back. For I have gone on to write the majority of my most powerful and heartfelt pieces during my times of joy and happiness. Works which easily surpass anything that I had ever written during my days of sadness and sorrow because my heart was suddenly free to explore all that it can feel, the good as well as the bad. My writing was finally allowed to grow beyond the constraints I was imposing upon it. So while I may have adopted my new ways with a measure of fear, I have chosen to wear them with honour.